time to wind back the clock yet again. After some gruelling driving, we pulled into our haven for the next week, Byron Holiday Park. Just a short walk to an awesome beach. I met quite a few mates there too. I'm loving the socialising. They are so envious of what I'm doing. Don't blame them. I pinch myself almost every day. How lucky are we? What's not to love about Byron? We got pretty set up for the first time in Byron and even put up the annex. Much to Rusty's surprise, I managed to do it without a hitch or breaking anything, with zero help from him, I might add. Have to say, this trip's been really one-sided as far as work goes. He thinks it's just a holiday, I reckon. One thing we didn't expect was to see whales breaching while we were there. Amazing! In Byron, I saw a different side of Glenn. He was actually getting tight with money. He said it was time to save a further $15 a week. So we stopped using the park washing machines and gave the Vans machine a run. Outstanding result and quick too. Gotta love the Joko. Then he tried out our clothesline and our mate Scotty's invention. Hegs, pegs, the peg with a hook. Ah, van life. I encouraged Glenn to join the Byron Runners. We had been getting on okay. I really was at the stage I needed some me time. He reckoned it was a great idea and that they were a great bunch of people and discovered some amazing tracks and scenery. Rusty had been getting precious about me making it easier for him to get into the van. He pressured me into getting him yet another step, version 3. This time I made a ramp for the old boy. It worked perfectly for him. Not so good for me though. I managed to slide down a bare foot on my back and nearly broke my neck. A short trip to beautiful Noosa and some Queensland sunrises. Not sure Rusty was so keen on the early mornings though. I joined another running club in Noosa too, Noosa Nutters. Noosa Ultra Trail Runners. Some of the trails were spectacular and there was plenty of time for a chat and soak up the scenery and more whale action on the coast. We camped in our friend Bev's property completely off the grid. I made friends pretty quickly in Noosa and Skylar invited me to visit an amazing dog beach just out of Noosa. Okay, so I did show off a little and I'm pretty sure she was impressed. Glenn caught up with old friends Michelle and Pete for lunch. Lunch, he said, pretty sure that does include margaritas and finish at 2 a.m. in the morning. That's a very long lunch, Glenn. Well, we were soon back on the road again and heading all the way up with very few stops. After a catch up with some more great cousins in Townsville, it was time to head onward to Cairns. Whilst the trip was going well, without Glenn breaking anything, we did encounter a rock from a truck which broke the windscreen. Glenn said, she'll be all right. I'll get the gaffer tape on it. I thought he's dreaming, isn't he? Lucky he decided to get it fixed properly. He always wants to cut corners. Gaffer tape, unbelievable. We made our rendezvous point to meet up with the kids and our family. It was so awesome to see their smiling faces. Now we're back on the road with the kids on board and Port Douglas bound. Of course, if you're in far north Queensland, you have to see the crocs. And we weren't disappointed. Back in Port Douglas, I managed to sweet talk my way into one of their great restaurants, On the Inlet. I reluctantly shared my bucket of prawns with Glenn. This is where the big groper fish comes to feed every day at 5pm. But Glenn must have scared him off because he was nowhere to be seen. The crowd weren't happy with Glenn that day. There's no mistake about it. I fell for Port Douglas. But here's my gripe. There's been one thing that bugs me a little. Well, a lot actually. The first thing people say to us when we meet is, oh, he's an old boy. Goodness, he's got lots of gray whiskers. Dear old thing, he looks puffed out. On and on the comments go. Don't they realise Glenn has feelings too? And he's doing pretty well, I thought. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, you can keep 
up to date with our travels and Glenn's mistakes at Fish Trays on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram.